What's up guys, Ryan with the MXG channel, back today with yet another very cool, affordable, handy, and logical e-bike to show you guys. This one is the Aoster Motor S7G, and this is a commuter. It's also a step-through though. If you're not familiar with the benefits of a step-through bike, uh, it works great for shorter people, it works great for older people, and basically the way the frame is, is uh, kind of comes down at that lower angle instead of coming straight across the top to the seat post. Uh, it's just easier for shorter people, older people, someone with a disability to get on and off of. So that's pretty nice. All right, so Krista is my test rider today because she's only five foot two. She can kind of show you the benefits of this bike being a little shorter and having the step through. So see how it fits you at five foot two. On the step through. Tippy toe. So she's able to tippy toe at five foot two with the seat all the way down. She can easily get on and off the bike because of the step through frame right here. Uh, being as it's commuter, it also has this rack on the back uh, because you know, so you can take stuff, ride to the beach, um, still make a great pit bike for you moto guys, moto moms, moto dads, uh, whatever. This is still gonna pull you uh, around the motocross track pits, up and down hills. Uh, it's still got the twist throttle and uh, it's just a really cool machine. So let's get into the details. Uh, it's a 750 watt rear hub motor. Some of the other bikes I've shown you have been 1500 watt. And you know, at first, at first uh, thought you might think that's half the power. Well, it is half the power, but it doesn't feel that way when you're riding it. Uh, the acceleration isn't half of the acceleration. Uh, this bike will still move with you. I'm 215 pounds, and this thing will still get up and go with me pretty well. So it's really all you need. And because it's only 750 watts, uh, your battery is going to last longer. Speaking of batteries, this is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour shark battery. Some of these bicycles, the shark batteries aren't solid. This one is pretty solid. It's got plenty of bolts holding it in there. You don't have to worry about it falling off. Also, you can lock this thing. You got the key right here, lock it on and off. You're able to charge this battery on or off of the bike and you can turn it on or off with the battery on the left. Pretty sweet. Now being as this bike's a commuter, it doesn't have a rear shock. It does have some pretty decent front forks though. These are the zoom forks we see on a lot of these bikes and they do have adjustable preload and lock in, lock out. As far as the gear system, it's got the Shimano seven speed we see on so many of these. Uh, it's definitely an entry level Shimano system, but it works great for what this bike needs to do. It's reliable, it's consistent. Uh, you're not gonna have any issues with it. You also get cable actuated disc brakes on the front and back. They're pretty progressive, they're smooth, they're relatively quiet, and they're gonna provide you plenty of stopping power uh, no matter what you have on this bike. And speaking of that, this bike is rated up to 300 pounds. That's one of the, the most asked questions I get about these bikes. You know, what's the weight limit? 300 pounds. You're also gonna carry some luggage. You're gonna be just fine. It's also a fat tire e-bike. These are more and more popular in the last few years. There's three inch fat tires, there's four inch fat tires. These are the four inch. What's that mean? That means this thing does phenomenal on the sand. And trust me, I know because I just tested out another model of four inch fat tires on the sand on the North Carolina coast last week. And I could not believe how well the fat tires do even in the deep sand. I've heard they do well in snow as well. I don't have any experience with that, but it's a very stable ride. And unless you're going extremely slow, you don't feel like you're lo losing that flickability, that nimbleness uh, that you get with a regular mountain bike. This one's got a few other features as well. I've already mentioned the back rack a couple times. You also already have two screws here for the water bottle mount already there. You also get a light on the front. You don't need to buy lights and stick them on the handlebars because the lights that come on these Aosters, it's they're pretty bright guys, they honestly are. You get great cable management. Everything's pretty, it's wrapped up tight. Uh, it's really hard to snag any of these. You also get your kickstand mounted back on the swing arm area of this bike, which I like because you don't have to worry about hitting the pedals and getting in the way of the pedals. You can take right off. One of my favorite features on this battery, I always forget to mention, so I wanna throw it in now, is that there is a battery level indicator down here on the battery. So if your battery is off or charging or whatever, um, you can look at that indicator. You don't necessarily have to use the one up on top. Speaking of up on top, the display screen. 
it's actually pretty good. It's not my favorite, but because it's not color, but it is a pretty bright LCD. You can see everything you need to see, even in sunlight. I can see it good in sunlight with these sunglasses on, no problem. You're just gonna glance down and be able to see it. All right, we're at a dead stop, and let's see how fast it goes. So 25, I think. All right, we'll stop her again and see what happens. All right. Zero and go. 